Welcome to the Secret Yarnery Vlog, Episode 6. Yes, there's sheep in my back field again. It's just a good time. I guess if I vlog in the morning, right after my husband goes to work, kids go to school, there's sheep out there. Anyway, it looks the same as it did last time. What I wanted to show you before I run out is all the things I'm delivering today. Finished, completed objects. Slash created. Slash designed. Okay. Wooden spoons. Let me just show you one at a time, I suppose. Wooden spoons. Drill two holes in them, so like a button. And then crocheted a chain and put a little cat toy at the bottom. So how cute is that? Anyway, my kids loved them. They were doing like helicopter and all sorts of stuff, so cat toy plus kid toy. They're really cute. Obviously these are little springy things. They're fun. I was thinking about putting little black yarn things for eyes and then I'm like, just calm down. So that was the last one I made. This was the first one. So this is one of those uh, accordion holiday balls. So it's nice and solid. It just took a bit of time, you know, to make that thing and then um, it's really cute, but I think it's too time consuming for what you want to sell it for. You know, you don't want to sell it for too much and it's a cat toy. So, but that was my first one. I like it, but too time consuming. I think this ball took like 45 minutes or something like that at least half an hour and then the rest of it so like an hour and a half for a cat toy not me so that was my first one these were my second ones so then I just did this sorry about that then I just did oh lord help me phone on oops that was the wrong thing phone on silent thank you Okay, this was my second one I made. Might even be the third, but same style. So I just did the, like a three round circle, two of them, single crocheted them together, put three things on the one side, little tassel on the other, chain. The chain comes all the way from this one, all the way through. So I thought that might help it not get pulled apart. I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, they bounce, I can't really totally show you, but they're pretty good. My kids now want me to make, you know, those, those, um, elastic ball, boing, boing, boing. But anyway, you know, your kids always want everything. So I did those. And this is the fourth one I did last night. Just to see, where's my hair on it? Of course there is. Oh, long hair and crochet. So that's the fourth one I made, but they're really cute. I thought they were like really sweet. Uh, anyway, let's see. I don't know. I'm giving it a try. Look at my cat toys. These are my new stools. So I finished four of these. I did six of these mandalas, but I haven't finished the edge on two of them because I was just going to take four today. So I just alternated colors. So I started with one color in the middle and then just alternated and then started the repeat when it got out to here. So those are super cute. And now I have stool envy because these are a little bit bigger and look at those colors. They're so nice. So uh, they all look different, but they're all the same pattern and they're all the same colors of yarn. But I thought they were so sweet. So those are going today. And also these slipper kits. So these are the two hour slipper kits. Of course I don't have a slipper here now. But you know my slippers. Anyway, little kit. So you get the ball of chenille, the ball of acrylic, the hook, and the pattern including how to do all your stitches. If you don't know how to do your stitches, hold the hook, hold the yarn. Like a total beginner kit. Um, in there. I should have put a little picture here until they forgot and then sealed them up. So next time. So those are going today too. I have six of these for delivery. 
And also this nice package going to Uganda. It's my first yarn delivery to Uganda. So seeing how that goes. Oh, I should have put her cover that up, right? Um, anyway, I'm not supposed to seal it. That's my next kind of, it's not a worry, but they have to check it at the border. So I guess they weigh it and then they check it at the border and they weigh it again to make sure that the weight is the same. So it's not sealed, which is a bit weird. I have it packaged inside as well. It's not that, but not used to letting anything out of your hand that's not sealed or stapled or you know what I mean. Like Anyway, that is going to Uganda. And that's about it. I am dropping these things off today. And then I wanted to make lanyards. Is that what they're called? Lanyards? Lanyard? Is there an S on it? I don't know. Those ones for the ID cards. Of course, I don't have that here with me either. But uh, uh, I wanted to make those, like at least four of them for delivery also, but didn't get it done. I was up at midnight making cat toys. So, as you do. Uh, then for my ladies on Thursday, so today's Tuesday, so Wednesday, I'm going for lunch with my crochet ladies, ladies, singular, awesome, um, fabulous restaurant we go to, if they have this lunch special, which is, I don't know, you got like an appetizer, which is really, it's like almost the best part of the meal, usually, well, yeah, depending, and like a full-on, like, Sunday dinner entree, and Italian, it's Italian restaurant, it's really good, so anyway, we're going there and tomorrow and then Thursday we're going out to a Brackenhurst Hotel and Conference Center I'll put a link down below you can check it out it's amazing uh, to meet those ladies up in tea country so that'll be good now I'm trying to think what I'm doing with them this week if they should be making more granny squares or I have them switch over to granny triangles I probably have some in here too. One minute. I have a bin down here with all sorts of <laughs> fail projects. So I started mandalas, so yeah, fail. Um, snowflakes. These are cute, Christmas ornaments. I made those last year. They were cute. iPad cover, also cute. Anyway. Not the point. Looking for, although the fails in here are quite historic. We'll go through it one day, actually, because it is pretty good. Where's my triangles? I got squares for days. My old granny squares when I didn't know how to join them properly and just did it like everybody else. Those are silly. What the heck a doodle? I will find it. Lunar shawl. So cute. Not finished. There we go. Here we are. Halfway down my bin. Okay, that'll be hilarious. We'll do that one day. Just remind me if I forget. Because that'll make any beginner crochet feel better. So these are my granny square triangles. Of course they only have the super obnoxious colors at the top. My bin. Okay, well at least there's a cranberry. So these ones, and then to make bunting, you know where you do a single crochet across, blah blah blah. So cute, and I was thinking maybe put an edging on them, a little bobble at the bottom, not a pom-pom, but maybe a popcorn stitch. And I was thinking of having the ladies switch over to those just in case I don't know what to do with the granny squares. I mean, you know what I mean, like, if they're too loose or whatever. So thinking of having them do those, although obviously changing colors every round and not be lazy like me. So I have a ton of those. I think it was for Valentine's Day. It's starting to come back to me. Valentine's Day bunting. Cute. Be cute to do like little triangles and then like hearts in between. Hearts are good. Yeah, because all of these are red, so I must have been doing something like that. Not anymore. Now it's in my fail box. Anyway, thinking of having the ladies start doing those, because it's the same as a granny square. You just do a shell, you do three shells of four instead of four shells of three. So everything is the same. So 
I thought they could probably start doing that. <sighs> Until I get on to my shopping bag thing, which I really should do, but uh, piece work to begin with I think is better. I uh, was going to have one of my ladies start making those hats, elf hats, but I think these are more practical. Who knows? Crazy ideas in the head. So that's me today. The weekend was good. Did spend time with the family on Sunday, by the way. But my husband, he got me a present. Those sheep, they've, already, they've gone across the whole field now. Oh, and their keeper's sitting on that side. I guess he's waiting for them to come back. Interesting. I think it's blocked on that side. Like, it's all fenced in. Somebody has a big piece of land back there. So, that's nice. Anyway, uh, I did manage to spend time with the family on Sunday, which was great. We went out, went for lunch, did a whole tour. Um, so, that was really nice. And I got a nice present. I got a new Samsung Galaxy Tab A6 for watching Netflix and Showmax. Love it. So I was doing that. And that was my excuse when I was crocheting. I'm like, well, you shouldn't have got me this great present. I mean, you didn't want me to appreciate it, right? How could I appreciate it if I am, you know, running off playing video games with you? So I did that. It was really fun. So nice, so lovely. The case is so lovely. It's all lovely. So that was good. And talk to my dad. My dad's watching my vlog. Hi, Dad. Isn't that crazy? Like, legitimate. So, uh, I mean, it's good. It's not crazy, crazy. It's like just shocking because you wouldn't think that. He's like a woodworker, he's not into crochet um, at all. Although he is now, of course. Has to be. No choice, right? So that's pretty funny. Um, and he had this really good idea, actually, of, because I know most of you are in the U.S. and around the world, not, not in Kenya. I know I'm the one here and you guys are not. So he had an idea of just, like, including some things about Kenya in the vlog, just to, like, you know, share, like, why I'm here, because obviously I love it here. Um, and I'm not, like, a hippy-dippy, backpacking, go-to-Africa, braid-your-hair kind of person. So, um, just to share what life is like here, because it's normal to me, but as he pointed out, not normal to anybody else. So, I thought that was interesting. So, I'm going to work on maybe incorporating something of my journeys, uh, like show you where I went or something like that, maybe once a week or twice a week. I'm not sure. I was going to do it today, but now I'm rushed, have to go do this delivery. wanted to show you those cool things before I leave the house with them. So haven't got it planned for today. But if that's something that you think is also cool, leave it in the comments below. And if you have any questions about Nairobi or Kenya or anything that you'd like to know about, just leave it in the comments below. I'm totally happy to tell you I'm pretty blunt, pretty open, pretty blunt. To a fault usually, but that's all right. I'm over it. It's not for everybody. So um, that's what I'm up to. So maybe this afternoon I'm going to relax and watch my new Galaxy Tab, no, yes. I got it confused with Note and my, made my son crazy. He's like, it's not a Note, a Note's a phone. But I'm like, it's big, like you'd put a Note on it. Anyway, it's a Tab, Galaxy Tab. So I might have a little date with my Galaxy Tab. Watching Shark Tank on Netflix right now, while I crochet, I'm listening to Shark Tank. I find it fascinating. I mean, because you don't have to actually look at it, but it's still interesting. So, and we're behind. I'm on season eight, I think. They only had two seasons on Netflix here, so that kind of sucks, but I like it. And it's, uh, it's interesting enough to, you don't have to look at it. You can look at it once and be like, I know what she looks like, I know what he looks like, I know who's talking. And you're like, vroop, 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 vroop. So that's good. Hug Shrug update. Was going to have it here. Had it on Saturday and then didn't get time to film anything. Um, I'm down, I've finished one ball. I have two more balls to go but had to do all this stuff for this morning's delivery. So maybe this afternoon, while I do my my Netflix and my date with my tab, um, I'll work on the hook shrug. Two more balls, won't take long, but I have to just, you know, have nothing else to do. And now that I did find my triangles, I don't have to do any prototypes. Although I probably should, so they change colors and they don't just be lazy like me. 
So that's all I'm up to. Had great classes on Saturday and Monday. So fun. Like literally hilarious. Um, if anybody knows what Tim Tams are, anybody know what a Tim Tam is? T-I-M, new word, T-A-M, Tim Tam. Apparently Australian biscuits. Oh no, hold on. I have them. Wait, wait, wait. Tim Tam. They're Australian, I think. I'm pretty sure Australian. And what you're, they're like a chocolate biscuit with icing in the center. So you're supposed to bite off one top corner and then the opposite bottom corner and then put it in your hot chocolate or your tea and suck on the top corner that you bit off and suck all the icing, which turns into like liquid chocolate, up through the center of the cookie. So we tried it. It's <laughs> pretty funny. It's a bad picture, but I'll put a picture somewhere where it fits of our Tim Tam challenge at crochet class. That was on Monday. So very funny. And one of my crochet ladies just came back from Australia. Her daughter lives there. So she brought back these Tim Tams for the Tim Tam challenge. So if you ever get a chance, it's worth it just to fail. They're delicious. But um, who knew about it? I didn't even know about it. So I know about it now. Tim Tams. That was quite funny. So crochet class is always funny. So that's it for me. I'm going to get a move on. I've got to get these things delivered like, with, like right now, like within half an hour. 40 minutes. So time for me to motor. And I will post again after I see my ladies on so I'll post again on Friday so have a great middle of the week hope you're getting all the things done that you need to get done let me know what's on your hook I'm not even sure what's on mine because I'm you know middle of everywhere but I'll try to work on the hug shrug um, and that's it so thank you so much for watching leave your comments in the comments below please like subscribe and share because you know it helps out a lot actually and thanks so much for watching. Have a great week. Stay hooked. Yeah, babe. Who? Oh, sorry about that. That sucks. I liked him. I thought he said Patty. I was like, what? Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. Well, see you in a little bit. Okay.